Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shredder. Welcome to Spain. My partner in crime will be my friend Michael. And over the course of the next eight days, we will travel all over Spain, visiting three different cities, eat some incredible food, and of course, speak lots and lots of Spanish. Santa Justa, por favor. So we just got off of a six and a half hour train ride to Barcelona. And now we're taking Michael to have some Chinese food. Whoa. It has a nice chew, mm. a nice bounce back. So just this street right here with all the shops screams Barcelona. I love the music that the street musicians play here. It almost seems like the cathedral just has its own music. We, uh, we didn't end up going into the cathedral because it was 15 per person. And we sort of already saw the Sevilla Cathedral, which kind of blows every other cathedral out of, out of the water. Yeah. I gotta say, I sort of forgot that Barcelona even had a waterfront. This place is really nice to chill and hang out after being in the sun all day. Look at the power pose on that statue, dude. Mike, let's get caricatures. I'm down. Mike, I'm like scared, dude. This feels like getting a haircut, but like you don't even know what it's looking like as it's happening. All right, Mike, on to you. <laughs> Done? All right, ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Yo. Oh my god. <laughs> that is awesome. So that Caña de restaurant had a 45 minute wait, so you know it's gonna be good. We're gonna wait it out. We're gonna get some Froyo in the meantime. Froyo popsicles. First bite. Mm. This was worth the 15 minute walk. If that's on the back of your menu, you know you're gonna have a good time. Uh, that tastes like you literally just dived off the pier over there to get this little bit and the oyster and came back. I will say everything here has been ridiculously fresh. It's crazy. So we just saw the cutest Catalan Shepherd dog on the train. What was his name? Uh, Jimmo. It's the dog's name. I forgot the owner's name because it wasn't as important. Not as important. Tomorrow we got a big day ahead of us. We're basically touring Barcelona the full way through. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so today is Michael's last day with us. Tomorrow morning he leaves for Paris. Today's plan is to walk around Barcelona, really explore the city, see all of the important spots. And what better place to start than the Sagrada Familia?
it's hard to capture with this camera sometimes, but the colors in this church are incredible. So for those of you who may not know, they started building this church back in 1884. Since then, it's been going on for over 100 years. It's still under construction, and it's supposed to finish in 2026, which I think is already better than what they originally said when I last came here. They originally said the 2030s a few years ago. I mean, you can see why it's taken so long to build. It's, it's incredible. The stained glass, when the sun's shining through it, man, this place, there's just a certain magic to it, dude. Michael, honestly, where else in the world can you just walk and find the Sagrada Familia in the middle of your city? I love that they just built it in the middle of the city. It's just like street, 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 boom, Sagrada Familia. First bite. Wow. I don't think I can show those in the vlog, dude. Dios mío. Hace mucho calor, Miguel. Si, sí, es la verdad. Alright, so now we are taking a guided tour of Park Well, designed by uh, the same person who built the Sagrada Familia, Mr. Gaudi. It's gonna be a lot of walking yeah. in this 90 degree weather. Last time I was in Barcelona in seventh grade, I made a vlog, and in that vlog, I came to this exact cafe. I also ordered a slushie that was extremely sour. Probably one of the worst slushies I've ever had, but just for memory's sake, I think I'm gonna order it again, if I can find it. I found the slushie. They still have it. <laughs> it's still pretty sour. They did make it a little bit better, though. So far what we know about the Picasso Museum, this place has very, very strange rules. For example, I'm holding my camera right now because they allow cameras but not camera sticks. Also, I have a massive water bottle in my pocket because you can't carry water bottles, but you can bring them in your pocket, I guess? Now we are heading to one of my favorite spots in Barcelona, La Boqueria, or the market of St. Joseph. It is basically just a farmer's market, but it's an experience, like you gotta go. The coolest thing about this place is that it just has random stuff. Who has ever heard of raspberry salt? I don't know, you even put that on. Look at how plump these cherries are, dude. These are tight, bro. You know they're tight. Mmm. This is the best thing in Barcelona. I've s I said it. What'd you get there? I got myself a spiral fried potato thingy with paprika and salt. Oh, it's hot. Oh, I got it. Hey, Mike. I'll give you a souk natural if you know what I mean. I think that's the combo right there. Oh, la sangre y uh, el melón. De cup? Ah, uh, de cup. For you. Gracias. Sí, sí. The same. Melon first. Yo. Hola. That's so fresh. Time for the sangria. Mike, you gotta try this. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. It's so good, right? Oh my god, there's so much flavor packed into it. I know. It's it's crazy. 
Now comes the part of the trip that I've been dreading. We must say goodbye to our friend Michael over here. He has to leave tomorrow morning super early because his flight is at 9 a.m. Paris and then uh, back to uh, New York it is. Yeah. We will see this man later. See ya. Oh man, even after he's not with us anymore, Michael keeps entertaining us. This man just went to the wrong hotel, because our hotel is a chain, and he went to the hotel that was on the opposite side of town of the one that we've been staying at. He is now heading all the way across Barcelona to get to the right hotel. Anyway, we are planning on seeing a guitar show in just a few minutes, and then after that we're gonna get dinner and call it a night. Yeah. Yeah. On a vacation, sometimes the last minute decisions are the best ones and what a show that was. It always amazes me that you can see such incredible music in such like small venues. It wouldn't really be a shredder vlog if I didn't have a steak. All right, y'all, welcome to last day of the vlog. This is day seven. Tomorrow we technically have a day eight, but that's when we get back to New York. So I wouldn't want to include it in the vlog because it's just travel. Fun fact, the last time I was at this museum, I lost 100 euros while I was walking through it. I still don't know whether it was by pickpocket or whether I just lost it. But yeah, that is something pretty important to know about Barcelona. A lot of pickpockets around this city. It is very, very dangerous. You really gotta watch your back. If you guys ever come to Barcelona, please make sure to watch out. It is a real threat. Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. Why all these statues around here are so thick? God damn. This is so cool. We are now on the roof of the museum and you can see literally everything from here. So we have returned to the Boqueria Market to try some of their seafood. A lot of their seafood places weren't open yesterday, so we're finally gonna get a chance today. This is so much more seafood than I thought we were gonna get. Yo, try the mussel right now, it's so fresh. Look at that scallop right there. Wow. So the only seafood we have left to try here is the oysters. Here we go. <laughs> That's good. So we have returned to the water side for our sunset cruise to end off the trip. I always really love doing these because the shots that you get are pretty spectacular. Okay, so I know I had meant to end the vlog with the Sunset Cruise, but we found this really nice sushi place for dinner. It originally was a very traditional Spanish like bar, but they just opened their sushi section a year ago, and it's like really good. It's almost like they combined Spanish cuisine with sushi. It's super unique, which is what I like about it. 
So they gave us their dumplings to try. Is that fish? That's so good. Try it, try it. Our last roll recommended by our waitress. It's some sort of tempura inside with a salmon. What? Oh, you follow me? You watch my videos? <laughs> Hold on, can I get this in, the, in my vlog? It's so nice to meet you. This <laughs> woman follows me on Instagram. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I can see why she recommended it. Man, you guys don't know how close we were to not going to that restaurant or to dinner at all tonight. Plus we met like this woman who was apparently a fan, I guess. This has certainly been a wild, wild night. For any of you guys planning on visiting Spain, always go for the family owned restaurants. They have consistently been our favorites throughout this trip. But it is now time to end off the vlog. And for that, I'm gonna ask Michael to come back and join me once again. All right, Michael, this trip has been insane, dude. Being able to speak Spanish with the locals, being able to sort of use this language that I've been learning in school for the past like six years in an actual like setting. Like being able to talk with servers, with waiters, especially if they're not so great at English, has been really, really cool. I've really enjoyed the uh, cathedrals. The cathedrals here in Spain, you, you wouldn't be able to see anything like this in uh, the States. There's just not a lot of history in the US, so it's hard to, to really get stuff like this there. I really enjoyed this trip with you, man. We got to know each other, we got to bond a lot more. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. of course, before college, before we all head off and go do our own yeah. thing, this was a really nice thing to have. We were planning this trip last year, actually, with our fantastic Spanish teacher, uh, Senor Chesterson. We would like to give him a shout out. He obviously helped us while we were in his class, but also um, in terms of inspiring this trip, he let us know about Sevilla, the, the town, the city in the mm -hmm. first place. And he gave us some really great recommendations. But unfortunately, the trip got canceled last year. And we're super glad to be able to do this this year. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for accompanying us on this journey. I think this has been my favorite experience to vlog so far. We will see you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. See ya.